What up, y'all? Welcome back to my page. And if you have never, ever, ever, ever been here before, my name is Jasmine, and sometimes I do random stuff for like all the y'all. So, I don't know. That was a little Colonel Sanders meets. I have no clue. But it happens. You're welcome. But this video is going to be about the actor resume. I'm going to give y'all a little something, a little sprinkle, sprinkle. I ain't going to leave y'all hanging. Blap, blap. All right? Let's get into it. As actors, we have a lot of tools in our toolbox, tool belt, whatever, you know. We got a lot of things, and one of them is the resume. Now, people are like, are resumes becoming obsolete, or are they still relevant? Well, with a lot of self-tapes being, you know, in the forefront of auditioning, at least for the initial audition, I'm seeing less paper resumes, which means online resumes that live on, say, Actors Access, Casting Networks, and even IMDb are serving as, you know, your actor resume. But that is not to say that paper ones are done with. They're, they're not because there are auditions that still happen in person, and there are casting directors, casting associates who, you know, still prefer a good old little resume, little hard copy in the hand because they like to take notes or they like to keep it in their, you know, folder, whatever they have. It's just their personal preference. And as an actor, you just have to be prepared either way. So that that's my two cents on them. I don't think they are obsolete, but I feel like, you know, less and less. Now, with a resume, it's very important to keep it clear, concise, to the point on one page. And typically, it lists these things. One, your name at the top and the center. I know it sounds obvious, but some people be putting it off in the corner, just trying to hide their name like they're trying to keep a secret. Next, you're going to put your projects. Then you're going to put your training. And then special skills. And then any awards if you've won any. And if you don't want to do all your research, you could actually grab my actor resume template in the description. I don't know why I just be doing this black. It feel like a dance. But it's in the description. You can just fill it in. You can add and remove your sections as needed. Now, keep in mind, the more you audition, the more you're going to book, and the more your resume will fill out. So don't stress if you don't have commercials or you don't have, you know, theater or whatever. You're just starting out. So if you just have classes, that is okay. You can, like I said, add it back. Soon you'll be getting too many things where you're going to have to start subtracting items. You're going to have to pick your, you know, your best, uh projects your best uh skills and all that so don't don't fret now some other quick things i want you to keep in mind when you are putting together your resume and these aren't you know all the hard rules these are just ones i've seen ones that i've heard and are just pretty you know common sense and like i said one is just to keep it simple don't be using all these crazy fonts don't be going medieval on the fonts like just keep it simple little times in roman little aerial garment something Number two, don't put background work on your resume. Don't put it on there. It don't need to be on there. If you're, you know, doing background work because you're trying to learn on set, you know, make some extra money, get your SAG cards, cool. Do that. Leave off the dates. Don't put no dates on there. Nobody needs to know when you did that stuff, okay? They just need to know that you did it. Next, commercials. Don't list out every commercial. Just put, you know, conflicts available upon request, upon request, whatever it may be. Even if you don't have commercials, and just put available upon request on that resume if you're comfortable with that <laughs> and next at minimum put some type of contact information and i say at minimum like email because not everybody is comfortable putting out their phone number now if you aren't represented i leave it up to you with how comfortable you are putting both or just putting one i personally just do uh like my email when i was not represented and even when represented but if you ball out, you can get you another number. If Google Voice is still a thing, I know they give you like a secondary number. So that's really cool. I did that for a while. And if you have reps, you can put your reps info. But I still would at minimum put your own email. Okay, because let's say you switch reps and, you know, casting or production likes you and you um, audition and they want you to come to a callback or even an initial audition and your former reps may not be so kind and send you the information okay because they probably have some other people on their roster they're still trying to get to book that work so they can get their little 10 or 15 percent so make sure you're recovering yourself and i would say at minimum put your email on your resume that's just something to think about you know if you want to put your phone number out there do you do you if you just like i don't care who texts me but i know people be spamming trying to buy my house and i'm like what house okay so that's just my uh, personal take on resumes and it's another good tool to have in your box 
And if this helps, I, I really hope it helps, even if it's just a little, because a lot of people aren't sympathetic to actors and we are asked, you know, a lot is asked of us nowadays. So I would say, take care of the things you can control. You know, you can control your resume, you can go get your headshots, you can go be taking classes and everything else in your toolbox or your tool belt, whatever you wanna keep it on. And then go in the room, you know, kill the audition and move on to the next one, okay? That's what I would say. But again, if you want to grab your own actor resume template, it's gonna be in the description below. I really, really hope this is helpful, you know, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Oh, one last thing, if you prefer to read, you know, which is your, if you're an actor, you, you, you read scripts all the time. You should be reading books, reading scripts, all this stuff too. But uh, you can check out my blog. I'm gonna put that in the description below, but it is jasminereed.com slash blog. So you can see another version of this and check out some other tools, you know, to help with your acting career, you know? And that's it. I don't know if I know how to end these, but yeah. I don't got no outro song, so I'm going to sing it myself. Blap. I don't got no outro song, so I'm going to sing it myself. Blap. I don't got no outro song, so I'm going to sing it myself. I don't got no outro song, so I'm going to sing it myself. Blap.